Are you prepared to go camping in bear country? You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're talking about camping in bear country. There are not many things that you can do to discourage a bear from coming into your campsite, but there are some things that you can do to not invite him into your campsite. One of the things that you'd like to do, first of all, is to put your tent and your eating area about 200 feet apart from each other. And then at the end of the day, when it's time to pack up your food and pack up anything that has a smell to it, we're going to hang a bear bag at least another 200 feet away. So in essence, we can have our tent in one area of a triangle, the cooking and eating area in one area of the triangle, and then the bear bag on the other area of the triangle. Let's show you how that's done. Remember that the thing that invites bears into your campsite would be anything with a smell. So not only food, but if you've got some suntan lotion, if you've got a perfume, if you've got your favorite chapstick or your candy bar, any of those types of things are going to invite a bear into your campsite. You want to avoid them. And especially don't sneak a candy bar into your uh, tent for a midnight snack. That's not going to be good. So there are just a few things that you need to prepare your bear bag to make your food and other supplies inaccessible to the bears. First, I use a dry bag. This is something that I use a lot in my canoe. Uh, during the day, I can use that to haul water to my campsite. And then at night, I can turn it into a bear bag. Then you'll need some rope and some carabiners. And here we go. My favorite technique is to find two trees that are far apart, that have a notch in them that I can throw my rope over, tie it to the first tree, make a loop with a carabiner that I can raise the bag up in the middle in between the trees, and then secure it on the other side so the bears can't access it. My carabiners are gonna be used as a weight as I'm throwing it over. Let's see if we can get it up there. Let's see if we can hit it. Look at that first try. That's great. Okay, this line's gonna come down. We're gonna tie it to this tree. We taught these knots in another video. You'll wanna check them out. And we'll finish that off with a double half hitch. One. Two, and then onto the next tree. Now we're going to try and get a measurement of about where we want the bear bag to hang in between both trees. And from there, we'll tie an overhand knot. And we'll hang our carabiner from here. And we'll tie an overhand knot in this end. and hook the carabiners on. We're ready to go. Okay, let's give it a toss. First time, that is amazing. All right, let's go hook up our bear bag and then we'll pull it up into the air. All right, let's put the carabiner on, thread that up. We'll go to the other side and give it a pull. You notice that this is a pretty rough bark on this tree, so we're going to use that to our advantage to create some friction. We'll go around the tree. And you can see right now there's not much weight on that. And we'll just finish it off here with a clove hitch. And there you go. And if that doesn't seem like enough for you, throw in a half hitch with a loop and you're good to go. We hope that you stay safe when you're camping in bear country. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.